Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at this, the Hawk Apex from Emacs. This is a three and a half inch bind and fly drone that has one or two special little features that include HD0 and Express LRS. What we'll do today is take a closer look at this little drone. I'll walk you through some of its features and capabilities. I'm going to try and fly it and then at the end I'm going to share with you my thoughts. Now just to be clear up front, Emacs did send me this drone for free. However, they have not seen this video before it's been published and as always my thoughts Thoughts are entirely my own. Anyway, let's get on with it and let's take a look at what this little aircraft is all about. Okay, so just taking a quick look at what you actually get in the box. So the drone itself, you can see on the back, it gives us some information from Emacs as well. You have their website, their social media stuff, and it tells you the versions that are available, which we'll touch on a bit more in a second. And then on the side here, I've got a sticker telling me which one we've got. So we'll slide it out of the sleeve throw that over there. If the lid, you'll find in some little support material. So they have a manuals link as well as a disclaimer here for basically health and safety for drones. Then inside you find the drone itself. We have our props as well as prop nuts and that's pretty much it. So what we'll do is we'll get the aircraft out Okay, so just taking a closer look at the drone. Now this is the three and a half inch version. It is available in a five inch version. This is the bind and fly, but you can get it in a plug and play as well. The bind and fly comes with HD zero as standard and an express LRS receiver built in. That receiver is not an SPI receiver. It is a separate Emacs receiver located at the back, just under the frame here. At the point of me making this video, it comes with version 2.4 express LRS firmware. Having looked on the configurator, I can't see this listed at the moment but it does look like it's going to be added into version 3 because I can see some pull requests on the website but currently I don't see a published target for this being available. Now looking around the drone it's fitted with the Emacs Eco 2 motors which are 3000 kV. They are designed to work on 4 to 6 S. Emacs say this drone should be used with a 4 S battery 850 milliamp hours roughly but you can save a bit of weight going down to 600 but the PIDs have been set for that 800 as well. It has an AIO flight controller below the VTX, which is an STM32 F722 with a 25 amp 4-in-1 ESC. As I've said, one of the real nice things on this little drone is that it comes with HD0 built in. It has the standard Whoop VTX located above the flight controller and it uses the HD0 nano camera version 1. That is the 16 by 9 version, which is 720p but it does allow you for configuration of brightness, contrast, etc. but you can't put it into a 4x3 mode. Now size and weight wise, the drone weighs 167 grams. It has a wheelbase of 162 mil and three and a half inch arms, as I've said. They supply it with the 3630 tri-blade props, which we'll take a look at a little bit later in the video. Flipping it over underneath, we can see we've got our battery strap down here. We have our pigtail with an XT30 and a capacitor located on board too. Now, having spent a bit of time looking over the drone, overall the build quality seems very, very good. We have our Express LRS receiver, our VTX antenna here. We then have the flight stack in the middle. Everything looks nicely soldered in place. It has a USB-C connector on for connectivity to your computer for the firmware and comes with Betaflight version 4.3. They've even taped the wires on the arms quite nicely as well. The only thing I will mention though looking round is you do have the receiver wiring here on that side, which does look quite delicate. That could be done damaged in a crash, so that is something to be aware of. The overall design of the frame looks good, you've got an adjustable camera as well, and really there's nothing to complain about from a hardware build quality that I can see. The overall packaging looks good and they've done a decent job on assembly as well. One last thing I just want to mention before we get this aircraft in the air is Betaflight. It comes with version 4.3 and it should have their custom CLI dump installed already. However, I would check that on their website and probably update it to the latest CLI dump just to make sure that you do have the latest recommended settings. One thing I do just want to highlight though is with regards to the Express LRS setup on this and the fact that under the mode section they have the arm in position between 900 and 1300. This this isn't recommended by the Express LRS team and you should always have your switch arm in in the high end of the range, not the low end. As a result of this, I recommend before you fly this aircraft, you should change the arming switch setup that your switch is armed 
at the high end, say 1800 to 2000, and do not leave it at the low end down here because that may result in problems with the Express LRS system because it is not recommended to be arming at the lower end of the range. Now, as I've said, they do have their CLI dump that has all of the right rate settings and everything. I didn't touch any of them. The only thing I did do is add a little bit of throttle expo and just move the throttle mid position a little bit for me. I tend to find that they had it a little bit high and there was no expo set as standard. And I do prefer a little bit of expo on the throttle whenever I'm flying. Okay, so it's time to get this aircraft in the air and give it a few test flights. Now, for this, I'm going to be using the HD0 VRX module on a set of Skyzone 04 axes. This is the new VRX module that allows up to four external antennas, built-in real-time clock, as well as local audio recording. My setup, as you could see, was two patch antennas, and that should give me decent range and signal overall. Battery-wise, we're going to be using the Mini Stars from CNHL, which should give us a reasonable flight time. This is the recommended size battery for this little aircraft. So it was time for a few flights to get the grips with how the aircraft feels in the air. <laughs> Okay, so it's time for me to share with you my thoughts on the Hawk Apex. Now, as I said at the start of the video, I was sent this for free. However, Emacs have not seen this video before it's been published. And as always, my thoughts are entirely my own. This is not a size of aircraft I am used to flying. You will see that from the footage. It is quite lively out the box and the rates did catch me out on the first flight, as you've seen. However, I have to say this aircraft is great fun and I really do wish I'd have bought more batteries for this. In fact, I'm going to be ordering another 10 packs because I want to keep this in the bag to have a bit of fun with at the end of some flying sessions or just take this out flying myself. It's really good to see manufacturers starting to integrate Express LRS and HD0 into systems. We have a ready to fly three and a half inch aircraft, which is well made. It flies well. And about the only complaint that I've got with this is the fact that they do have that Express LRS set up slightly wrong and they should have it at the higher end of that range and not the lower end of the range with regards to binding. If you're looking to get something that's a lot of fun, you're looking to get something to get you towards racing, this has got to be worth a look in my opinion. And whilst I am not an expert on this size of craft, I can tell you I have had a lot of fun with this and I intend to have a lot of fun with it moving forward. If you're interested in getting yourself one of these it is available directly from Emacs for about $419 or I have seen it in the UK for about £350. As I've said I think it's a lot of fun it's going to get a lot of use from me that is for sure and if you want to get into something like this I see no reason why you wouldn't consider getting one. Anyway 
That's it. I hope you found this video interesting. Please do let me know what you think in the comment section. Please let me know if you have any questions. I will try and answer them as well. If you're interested in supporting the channel to allow us to keep making content, there is a link in the description to my Patreon account. It is only through the support of my patrons am I able to keep making content on this channel. And if you think you'd like to support us to allow us to keep making content like this in the future, please do consider checking it out. I want to say a massive thank you to all of my patrons. We would not be able to do what we do without your support. Anyway, that's it from me. Stay safe. I'll speak to you soon.